for me, conducting is very, very primal and, and important because, you know, so many people on stage have different opinions about the music and there kind of needs one person to give unity to all of that. There needs someone to make the decision and say, this is where we're going, taking all of the different opinions and kind of creating one vision. You know, conducting is a special, it's a special profession, it's a special art, like making music, uh, because it allows us to connect people, ideas, and get them across to audiences. It's a, a very unique endeavor to do. And it's uh, important that uh, when we decide to conduct, we have, uh, we have that in mind, that we want to connect people and, and bring ideas together. So I think, I think that's what conducting is. It's unifying, unification. What is important is to be a passionate conductor, a committed conductor, a conductor who loves to communicate and share his dedication for music. Show me what the composer wants and embody that. Show it with everything you've got. I think that uh, you can learn, learn conducting, you know? You must burn for this. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, in your heart, in your brain. It's like your life. I must say, I get really nervous when I see these young conductors because we all been there and uh, I recognize all these, you know, emotions uh, in these competitions. And I get my sweat in my hand and I feel the pulse goes up. So I really feel, uh, I have my, my biggest empathy for these people because it's, uh, it's so, so tough and you have everybody's eyes on you all the time. They have my biggest respect and I'm so happy they come because it's so important for the whole uh, musical life that, young con that people want to be conductors. I mean, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's always challenging, challenging yourself, challenging the musical thoughts you have. Um, so um, there are a lot of doubts but there is no doubt, room for doubt uh, on stage. So it's always uh, trying to find a good balance in it, because doubting is also healthy, but uh, a, good, a good balance is, is the best way. Well, what I personally look for is, of course, a very high level of um, musical education, artistic education, and also competency and of very serious study and of motivation. But I'm also looking for something which is much more intangible, which is um, something which um, inspires and lifts uh, people up in the audience and also in orchestras and amongst other colleagues. And also I'm looking for often a sense of purpose. I think the pressure and, um, and stress we are somehow used to as conductors, as like everyday life somehow, especially on that stage of career when you're just, you know, taking off. Um, everything is always new. You just arrive to new places constantly. So uh, we are somehow trained, I think, to stand this and to deal with this. But yeah, uh, that's true. It's stressful somehow. And, uh, but it's also very exciting. And I mean, it's a great orchestra here and it's beautiful vibe. So this is our first jury meeting after the first day of our semi-finals here at Princess Astrid International Music Competition. Um, I think we've had some moments of real excitement and some moments of real music making when suddenly for, for a few seconds the candidates and the orchestra really connected. Um, so it's been a very interesting day for us too, I think, and we look forward to the result. <laughs> I, I would not uh, think it like a competition. I mean, uh, every opportunity you work, especially with a uh, very good orchestra, you have the good opportunity to make music, no, no matter it's competition or masterclass or performance. I mean, it's all the same. You need to be 100% there, yeah. Okay, so, good afternoon. 
A belated welcome after an impressive day of first round. I'm very privileged and happy to be serving as the jury leader, along with my esteemed colleagues sitting with me at the table. Without further ado, I will go ahead and announce the results from the first round today. Here we go. We are happy to see you tomorrow. Abner, Toby, Junping, Elvin, Miriam, and Jayhawk. Honestly, I don't really like competitions <laughs> because it makes me in a stressful situation. But it's also a challenge uh, that I really want to face uh, to learn a big repertoire in short amount of time uh, and uh, to just focus on the most important things during the competition. So I think that I learned a lot from the competitions and I find it necessary to take part in some competitions. Compared to sports, it's not about fastest, highest, uh, strongest. It's, it's finding all this, the different shades of what music is about and trying to uh, sort of provide enough influence to the orchestra so they will understand what, what to do and, and be inspired by, by the candidates. And, and I think we can, truly hear that the candidates inspire in different ways and, and has different approach and it's, um, it's, it's very nice and interesting to be, be part of experiencing that. It's thrilling to be here. The piece that they performed today is called Masquerade, and it's a piece I wrote back in 2013 to open the last night at the proms, and it's very exuberant. It was really a piece to be very celebratory for this very special musical occasion. And it was really interesting to be on the jury through this process, because usually as a composer, I'm sitting in the audience you know, experiencing the sound as the other members of the audience do. But for this experience, we were actually sitting behind the orchestra in between the brass and the percussion. So we were able to see face on the conductors. So that was a new experience for me, uh, firstly, sonically, to be in a very different position within the orchestra. So I was really hearing the details of the brass and the percussion in ways I hadn't heard before, but also to see a more intimate side of the conductor, um, not just the hand gestures, but the facial expressions. Conducting means for me, uh, it's a great opportunity to, to share with great music um, and show a way that when you study your score, but also take what the music offers to you. So trying to, to make a, a unique message. So this is amazing. I think, well, of course it's different than making regular concerts and doing a competition. But the main thing is same, I, I think, making music with the orchestra and making connections, sharing ideas. So in that sense, I don't see much difference. This is the jury meeting after the second day at the Princess Astrid International Music Competition for conductors this year. Uh, we got to see them work for 30 minutes each, uh, six of them, same repertoire, and we learned a lot about each of them. So now we look forward to Deciding who goes on to the third round, the final three. Look forward. These are the three people going on to the final at the 22nd Princess Astrid International Music Competition. Mr. Elvin Ho, Mr. Junping Kren. Congratulations. Mr. Toby Thatcher. Congratulations. I think my job is to 
encourage an orchestra to b believe in the music that we are playing in that week, to believe in the music and to believe in a way of performing that music, um, and to provide the energy in the room to kind of, you know, help the musicians do the job to the best of their abilities. I, we're really lucky that we always exclusively get to walk into a room filled with people who are specialists at what they do, extremely talented, extremely high level. Um, and we are there to encourage them to do the best work that they can and, and to, to, to love, love the music. I really never really felt to be a conductor, but I've always felt to be a musician, to be interpreting the scores, to be finding uh, the truth behind the scores, which is a lifelong journey. And so conducting was something, a means to express what I have understood about the music uh, and what I want to create with all this 100 plus people sometimes different departments if you're in opera, uh, and bring everything together. I think it's a really beautiful thing. And that's really what drew me to conducting. And uh, the fact that also as uh, the leader of any uh, orchestra or ensemble, you are representing them and connecting directly through the composer to the public and to speak to the public, uh, to interact with them, I think which is the most important thing after all, because music must be kept alive. I can hear what I have inside myself, a strong voice, a complex voice that I really need to um, bring out to life. So conducting is the way to do it. Um, and I'm happy that I can, or I'm able to do it. Yeah. I mean, not everyone can fulfill dreams. For me, I'm the lucky, lucky one. Musikprisen som bærer mitt navn har vært viktig for mig gjennom hele livet. Jeg har fulgt den med stor interesse, og jeg er mektig imponert over de unge musikerne som vi har fått oppleve gjennom tidene. Jeg ønsker dere alle en riktig strålende aften. In best case, I'm moved and touched by the way they do music. And that is, I think, our ultimate goal, to really move people. Then I, of course, also want to see them creating a great contact with the orchestra, to affect the musicians, really, get them to play better. I want to see how they rehearse. Are they addressing the real issues or just some some places they may be thought of before coming in. Are they really listening to the music? Well, to all all the conductors who applied for this uh, for this competitions uh, for for this competition and. Uh, um, not least these guys who came here uh, because I mean this is such a high level uh, already uh, and uh, you know the differences are very very tiny it's all about the details and small things so uh, I they should all be really proud that uh, they made it to Trondheim <laughs>
it's the ability to make something change in the orchestra. The sound changes or the, the, the way musicians are playing changes. Something happens and does anything happen? And um, yeah, these things sound very vague, but at the same time, we as musicians, all I think all of my colleagues on the jury will agree that it's something you know instinctively and immediately if you have a talent in front of you. Yeah. Thank you.